Aries, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be looking at your energies for the month of August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. So in this video, we'll be looking at your overall energies of this month, basically in the form of weekly reading. Okay, so I will be looking at your every week energies, what kind of energies you are attracting towards yourself or what might be happening in that week. Okay, so um, whatever guidance will be coming up in the cards, we will be discussing about that as well. All right, so let's see what's coming up for my Aries for the month of August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. This is going to be a general reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So let's see some, I need four cards. Okay. So we will be looking at the clarifiers as well, clarifying energies, clarifying cards, four, please. Okay, so the overall energy of this, of this month will be seven of cups. Okay, so the seven of cups, it talks about your um, will of doing things in a different manner. Basically, it is more about some different kind of things. You know, your mind, your heart is diverted towards many situations at a particular point of time. Maybe there are many things going on in your head in this month. Maybe you are very busy, your business is there, your uh, professional life, your work life, your uh, sorry my home life your um, you know love life and all that stuff so maybe you are looking at so many perspectives at the same time it is also a possibility that you are looking for different uh, brides or different grooms basically so you are uh, you want to marry and you are going for different different people so that you know you you may find the one for you uh, there is some confusion in regarding your work life. Maybe you are confused with whatever, whatever things you are doing at present. Maybe it is not making you feel so prosperous, so successful that you feel that you know whether you are in the right path or not. So your overall energies are more about you know different kind of things going on in your life and um, at the same time. So yeah, you are really going to be very busy. Maybe your mind is at least. And uh, what else we have? Um, yeah, too many options is written over here. And uh, stop procrastinating or over analyzing. Yes, basically you have to stop doing things all at once. So you have to do one thing at a time. So that will really help you in this month if you do like this, okay? So in the first week, we have the Queen of Wands energy. It looks like you are going to be very um, action-oriented person in the first week. Your actions will be speaking about many things and you will be showing to yourself, you will be showing to people that you carry that energy, that you have that, um, that you know, how do, how do we say this? Uh, you have that leadership quality in you and you can achieve many things in your life so achieving being a boss being uh, at a place where you are ordering people what to do and uh, yeah, you have a good control over your family we have a ten of pentacles along with that queen of wands so i'm seeing strong family energies maybe you are meeting your there's a reunion with your family and you have a good control maybe you are in charge or you are responsible for the things which include uh, a good reunion with your family and you are controlling things in your in a very good manner okay so with these two energies the the guidance is basically if something like this some kind of responsibility comes up on you in the first week so just believe in yourself okay because there will be people who will be trying to show you the your uh, you know the the least of you who will try to show that you are not good enough there will be people there will always be people like that but all you have to remember is that you can do you have to believe in yourself never give up on yourself okay so this is how the first week will be making you feel 
very strong okay a very good responsibility coming up towards you it can be anything uh, maybe financially this can be a very strong responsibility at uh, in this week maybe by this responsibility may if you do if you do your work very good so you will get the promotion as well in the later of the month maybe it is possible but uh, yeah it's it's very good the second week is balance and knight of cups i am really uh, happy by seeing both of both of these cards together because it shows that you are very excited for things it's it shows excitement but still it it is showing excitement but at the same time you are not showing that excitement in front of the people okay it's like you are showing that you are a balanced person they will be very good opportunity coming up maybe a very good news coming up in the second week of the month but uh, you will not show it to people that you know see i'm so happy because you know at a certain place that people will not be happy with your happiness so somewhere you will try to be very calm very patient about the things which are happening in your life and uh, it's 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 showing success definitely it is success more success coming up i'm you know overall energies of all the cards which are here right right now it shows that you are attaining a lot of success this month is more about you putting your efforts into different things in life different places you are exploring things your mind is not working for one situation your mind is like you know what else can be there what else can be there there are so many ideas coming up maybe you want to flourish you want to be a successful businessman you want to do really good in your job also you want to shift you want a promotion there are many things so basically how to do those things so that is something which is coming up in your mind in this month and you are really but you are not showing it in front of the people no you are you know keeping it very hidden in the third week of the month we have the 9 of cups and 4 of wands it's like wishes coming true okay wish fulfillment energy is here your wishes will be coming finally true in the third week whatever you are doing in the first second week maybe your work life will be really busy in the first two weeks so and that is why there are some results coming up in the third week so it's coming up as a very very beautiful time of this month third week will be the best best time of your month it is showing all your opportunities whatever you had with the seven of cups you know you had so many cups in front of you it's same with the nine of cups but somewhere your wishes are coming fulfilled you know so it's like um, where to go where to put my energies but by the third week your energies will be uh, will be into something better for you know betterment of your own self it tells us uh, good fortune also it tells us believe in god believe have faith in the universe so this is how you know third week is coming up as a very positive time of your month wow this is very pretty energy so we have the fourth week as the king of coins with the knight of coins um so maybe you are meeting somebody new in this uh, week i don't know but i felt it that uh, this either you are stuck between two people also it can be possible that you are dealing with two different um uh, different earth signs and one person is very loyal and um, you know this person is although this person has not achieved success yet this um, this person uh, the knight of or uh, the knight of uh, coins person one person did not achieve success but this person is more loyal and the other person is very successful but you see that this person is calm as well but with the calmness the, it comes with the ego is also there because this person is very successful so you might be confused between two people and that's why you are um, it's coming up this seven of cups in your energy and uh, there is a lot of um, good energies good vibes coming up with the fourth uh, fourth week you are whatever you are doing you are very loyal you are very dedicated you are into that thing 100% you are behaving like a 
earth sign i don't know whether you are dealing with an earth sign or whether you are also somewhere in your chart there is an earth sign so it is possible that uh, you are majorly you will be at home in the fourth week and you will be again putting your efforts practically okay it's like uh, not action oriented things the things which are in your mind you will jot it down in your notebook or there are some things which are coming up so the the time will be perfect for the fourth week it's coming up as a very very beautiful energy wow so if you talk about your love energy in this uh, month so your second week will be very good second and third week again your love life is coming up as a very beautiful time maybe you are celebrating some there are some celebrations coming up maybe maybe you are going on a date or it is possible that you are celebrating with your family about your marriage engagement roka ceremony i don't know whatever it is but there are some celebrations happening and this is a time where you will be very much involved with your family with your the pe with the people whom you really love so this month is a very beautiful month for that in terms of your family also in terms of finances it's coming your fourth week will be very good for that finances related third and fourth week again third week is the best for everything you want to attain something third week okay so it's like put more focus on the third week you will definitely get it whatever it is there definitely you are going to get it okay yeah so that's all from my end my dear aries i hope this helps and we will meet you in the next video till then bye